Hi everyone, Zach here, and welcome to Lesson 17 of the series, Learning C++ by Making Games. In this video, we will make our start screen based off the pseudocode we completed in the last video. This video and this series have been brought to you by my Patreon sponsors like Nemian Games. That said, open up your new project and let's get started. All right, welcome back to the editor. We're gonna actually do a couple of things before we get into coding this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add one more line up here. We're gonna clear the console screen. We're actually gonna repeat that again down here. Now I'm going to do a method that is considered evil by some. Um, and in fact, actually it is not a good method. There is a reason we're gonna start with a poor method and we'll go over why it's poor real quick and then we will later in the series remove this poor method with an alternative method. Now, a lot of people will use the alternative method I'm going to show you. It can be slightly problematic, but it's less evil than the method we're gonna use in this video. Um, and don't worry when I say evil, it doesn't really matter for what we're doing. But if you were to make a larger program, you should not use the method I'm about to show you. There are other things you can do, it is just a good Good segue for what I want to do later in this series. So I've copied the pseudocode. I'm just going to bring it down here and I'm going to, by the way, if you don't know the command I've been using to comment everything out, it's control K C and then control K U will undo the commenting out. So this is what I want to do. So just going to pop that up there. The first thing I want to do is clear my screen. So I'm going to actually have my one and then to say start Green. So I am going to do a STD, and this is the evil thing, system. And this is a function. This function has something called CLS in it, which will clear out the console screen. Again, you really should not use this. We will replace it later on. So why is this evil? Why? Why, if you read forums, will you see that people complain about it? The reason it is evil is fairly simple. It is resource heavy. You have no guarantee that it will execute correctly, that it's a valid command, that it does the same thing on all systems, that it hasn't been compromised by malicious code, and antivirus software sometimes really doesn't like this command. So this is a bit of a problem. Now again, I'm just using this as a segue. We will replace this with something later on. In fact, we'll replace it in the second iteration. All right, so the next thing we need to do is we need to get our, so I'm just gonna delete as we go. So we've cleared the console screen. The next thing we need to do is get our start character. So I'm going to do this, declare a character that will be called start key, not start key, start key. And we're not gonna put anything in there. All right, so there's our start key. And I'll show a comment on this as well. We're going to clear screen, display, start screen at this point. So what we're gonna do here now is a STD C out, and I'm going to display hangman. And because I know how this is gonna read, I'm gonna put two spaces on either side of it. And then I'm going to do std end line. And on the next line, I'm going to go down. I'm going to do std c out and by two neurons. And then std, wow, std end line. Now here comes the tricky part. I need to make my ASCII character. Now I have included a text file in the description that you can download and just paste this in, or you have to make some edits to it. I, I wasn't completely nice, but you know, I'm gonna show you how to start this at least. And I might go through the entire process depending on how long it takes me in recording it. But yeah, so we need to create our little figure. We're gonna do STD, C out, and then I'm gonna put 13 underscores. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Now that I've done that, I need to put three spaces at the end of this. And the way I know if I the right number, if I mouse over, it will say constant character 17. So that is what I'm looking for, to have 17 characters there total. 
We'll do my standard end line. All right. Oh yeah, and also make sure to put your carrots in. Then we are going to display the first part of the gallows and the noose. So STD C out. Quote mark, and then I'm gonna use the, the unbroken upright bar there. I'm gonna go out eight spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna put my curly bracket for the noose, and then I'm just gonna line up that ending quote, and I'm gonna do my STD end line. It would also be helpful if I hit the right key there. And you know, it's lined it up a little bit more nicely. Oh, I missed the L on end line. There we go. And then we'll do our head. And this one's actually fairly simple to do. We have our unbroken, and we just can go out to where that is. And I'm going to use a zero. Actually, I'm going to use a capital O for the head, not a zero. And STD end line. And we're just gonna repeat doing this over and over again. In fact, I'm gonna be a little bit lazy. I'm just gonna copy that line. And I'm gonna move out to here, do the torso, continue to there. And then we'll have our STD end line. So now we have the torso. And now we're gonna do the body. And I'm gonna get this intentionally wrong so you can see what I was talking about during the pseudo code. So we're gonna go out to where the body is and this is gonna not be lined up correctly. So I'm gonna highlight there and I'm going to, actually I'm gonna highlight there and I'm gonna put a slash. So there's a space between the body. So that's the left arm. And I'm gonna go out one and put the other slash. And I'm gonna put my quote mark there. And I'm gonna do my STD end line. All right, so I'm now gonna cheat. I'm just gonna copy this line entire and paste it in here. It kinda looks weird, right? But what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit delete there, hit space there, and hit space there, and delete there. Now we have the arms. We are going to go down and start on the legs. So to do the legs, I'm gonna, again, cheat and just copy this line. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna delete that real quick and I'm gonna put one slash there, hit delete again, put one slash there, put an extra space between them and there are our legs, the start of our legs. We're gonna do a copy of this line, go down here, just like we did with the arms, we're just gonna respace it. So there's our body. And then just to make things a bit nicer looking, I'm going to do an STD C out. And I'm just gonna line that space up there. Also, I have an extra space. And it's gonna be STD and line. We're gonna go down, take this line here. I'm gonna copy our first line and I'm gonna paste it down here. But it looks a bit weird. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that there and I'm going to extend bottom of this all the way out. So we have our gallows and our hanging man. I am then going to do STD C out. And I'm gonna go down to a new line. So to do that, I'm gonna do slash N, no space, press any key and enter to start. And then I'm gonna do a new line again. Instead of doing the STD N line, I'm just gonna use a semicolon. And I'm gonna do STD C in, start key. So nothing's gonna happen until they hit start key. By the way, that takes us through all of that. And again, we're gonna clear the screen once they've done that. I'm just gonna copy the warning as well of not to use this. There we go. Now, this is all we have to do, but there is a problem with it. So let's run it through and see what that problem is. Let's hit play, let it compile. What? His body's missing parts. So if you might remember when we talked about putting quotes in that I needed to have a special symbol, where is that? That I need to have a slash there. That error, is certain keys have meaning in C++. Notice the color is different here. So to get this to work right, what I need to do is I need to put a slash before it. So to get this to work, we're gonna have an extra slash. We need to do the same for the legs. And now this should actually display correctly. There's our hangman. If we press any key, you notice it clears out the image. The image is gone and it finishes with the return zero. So 
that takes us through what we need to do to set up our start screen. In the next set of videos, we'll go over loops, arrays, and reading in data. That way we can set our variables for the game and set our random word. If you've enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button down below. It really does help the channel out. And if you wanna be here when we do our loops, arrays, and reading in our data, make sure to hit that subscribe and notify icon so you know when those videos are out. That said, if you also wanna help the channel, consider becoming a supporter on Patreon. Finally, I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial, and I hope that you have a wonderful day.